Hello. Hi, it's me. Uh, Silta Gamer. Silta underscore Gamer. The hit Twitch TV, uh, hot shit. I'm setting up some stuff real quick. I kind of overslept during my nap. Let me read chat. What's going on in the chat? Hey, hi, the swimp, duh, truly. Yeah, it's me, the big hilarity. I'm still waking up from my nap. I kind of, like I said, I overslept. I was so tired today after doing a lot of moving for somebody, moving furniture, that it, I had to take a nap when I got home. Sleep is nice. It is nice. Um, but you know what's not nice? Half-assed naps. Because I'm not a nap person. I don't like naps because they, they tend to make me feel very... Um, what's the word? Groggy and just kind of like annoyed. I don't know. I don't, I don't do naps. I don't, I'm not a nap person. Naps make me feel kind of crappy. I'm still waking up from my nap. I don't like nap naps either. I ended, I ended up waking up super tired and confused. That's kind of how I feel right now. Um, I might get my streamer stuff up on the side here. Ugh. Hey, Ractor. Strangely, I feel terrible at it. Uh, I take a nap on my bed, but feel fine if I pass out at my desk. I think it's like... I, I don't know. Um, I think there's a science behind it. It's like if you take uh, naps, you know, you need to aim them within a certain amount of time because you'll enter REM sleep. And if you wake up during like mid REM sleep, you just feel shittier, I think. I could be talking out my ass, though. I don't know. Let's go in, uh, Fog. Hi, Gliggly. I don't know why that, that redeem didn't work. In fact, I don't know why those redeems haven't been working lately. I don't think that they've been working. Um, don't touch me. I need, I need to figure out why the sound redeems don't work. Uh, let's see, let's test one. 
Um, this work? Son of a bitch. Alright. Yeah, some of these just don't work. I don't know why. Uh, it could be... I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out. That's really weird. Trigger fire, is this it? This is not something I wanted to worry about right now, but I guess we're worrying about it right now. Thanks, Clay. Making me have to do my damn job. I just woke up from a nap in case you're just stumbling. In. Yeah, like, hold on. Pop his tab, kill him. Yeah, these... The fog is coming! 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 Now it works? No, I was hitting the sample buttons. I was hitting the sample buttons. That wasn't like them actually triggering. Pop his tab, kill That's him. That's better. Okay, now it works. Cool. We're gonna play game now, okay? We're gonna play game. Game, yeah, the game trademark. Playing the game. You like game? I like game. Gaming for you and gaming for me. I gotta wait 30 seconds before stupid Project 64, like, pop-up window allows me to continue on with my existence. I forgot to change that. It's such a it's such a pointless little thing. I don't know. All right, continue. Are you ready to get our game shit on? I'll be back quite quickly though. Gonna heat up my food in the meantime. All right. Ultimate trial. Get loaded. Where are you going? Ah. So we completed the child trial, um, probably could do with something else though, like I think there's more stuff in the child trial we could do. I got a lot of money, I don't know how or why. Stronghold, I just got my home. Yeah, she's a homeowner. That's her whole backstory. So she's a new homeowner, and then Ganondorf said, Sorry, changing governmental structure, and they kicked her out. fell off my desk and I don't know what it was but it made a loud noise yeah
but I I hate I hated that nap. It did not sit well with me. Hello. Um So here's the thing. I could get I could get the uh I might get the unveiling lid and the claw shot. Serious things are hidden everywhere. I'd like to buy something else? Yeah, I would like to buy claw shot. Oh, I actually like the design of this claw shot. It's a spring loaded chain that you can cast out to hook things. It's like the design of it is kind of like a bug. Almost like the beetle from Skyward Sword, but... Oh god, my bots are gonna start flooding the chat. In the next few minutes. Looks more like a scorpion. Yeah, it, it looks like some, some bug type. See my new friend, he moved here recently. I believe he is somewhere in the child trial. He told me he was heading for the mountains. You'll need something if you want to go see him. So, with the Lens of Truth, or the Unveiling Lid as it's called, this DLC, or this mod, I should be able to see things hidden now. And that, that guard said that there was somebody, a friend of his, that was kind of stuck in the um, child trial, so I might run through the child trial again. And see if I could find their friend. Uh, also, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. I'm back, so does Polly. Oh, not any more sadness. They are tweaking hard. Hey, hey, we're not, we're not bringing up my my crippling addiction. All right, the potato crisp uh, sticks, Japanese stick potato crisps. We're not talking about my addiction. All right, I I, it's not even really an addiction. All right, it, it's not an addiction. I just, I am in control. I actually found that they're sold in separate uh, packages rather than the Japanese assorted candy boxes that I sometimes get from viewers through the throne. Hello, Silta. I'm here to support your gaming endeavors. Uh, hi, Jay. 
Hello, Jake. Hello. What's up? I woke up from a nap. I'm kind of cranky. I'm. I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real with you, chat. I'm a little cranky. I woke up and I did not enjoy that part. I used to live in a small house built by a peaceful lake. It was simple life, but everything seemed so much colorful back then. Do I give a shit? Stop fighting! <laughs> yeah, a little monkeyless. Congratulations on completing the child trial. I knew you could do it. Well done. The next one is even harder. It's known as the adult trial. Containing 50 floors, it's even longer than the last. It's truly perilous. If luck favors you, merchants might appear, offering helpful items to enhance your adventure. Hello, Oddity. To get through this trial, you need to have a claw shot and some iron boots to wear. Oh, I see you don't have them. Sorry, but I can't let you through. You can go buy them at the store. Fuck you. I'm gonna go through the child trial, because I need to figure out where this guy is. When he squashed that fuck with the book, I immediately knew the reference. Yeah, like... It kind of was wild, because, like, I remember, um... Watching Oni plays years ago. I, I watch Oni plays. Sue me. Don't actually, I can't afford to fight that. Um... Scratch that from the records. Um... I remember watching an episode of Oni plays, and... Zach and Chris were talking about that exact video. And I remember seeing it when I was a kid. And it, it, it weirded me out. I still completely believe that that, that that man created life. I don't think it was fate. I mean, has he ever uploaded anything since then? I really love this game. So like this mod soundtrack. It's, they did such a good job with the music. fucking baby I know you're here somewhere shit Ugh. gotcha bro probably got murked <laughs> yeah that that little homunculus he made grew up to be believe it or not chat I have confirmed sources Vladimir Putin he was consumed by the homunculus I think he crushed it with the Bible or something I don't know if it was the Bible that he hit it with it was like I don't know what it was he hit it with. In the video, he, he splats the fucker. Bleat! <laughs> yeah. Bleat! He just smacks it. I don't think that was life. I don't think he created life. I think it's a hoax. He, didn't he literally say, like, oh, I put, like, I'm, I'm translating from Russian. Uh, I put my own semen in egg. Put the, my own sperm in egg, chicken egg. If it's a hoax, it's crazy good. Jake, Jake, it's a hoax. They, there's no way that they just created life like that. I just bombed his home. Where am I deflower you? Is the audio good or do you guys think I should turn it off? Damn, I'm good. See that? I'm not, I'm not surprised by much anymore. Well, that was like the early 2000s when the internet was kind of being a new thing. Audio's fine. I'm not an expert on biology, but I know enough to know it's not that easy. I will say that that hoax kind of got- is one of the things that got me into biology. Because, uh, listen, I might be a little redneck. I'm, I, I might be a little redneck, backwater wood baby. Uh, trailer baby. Um, but I like science. I like biology. And I know a little bit. They trained me at the academy. That baby little backwater trailer would water baby, but it. No! Ah, I'm okay. What were you studying in college? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, man. I was studying Jesus. Uh huh. Amen. At the A, A, when we got an A, the A stood for Amen. Wish I was joking. Yeah, you guys are learning Silter lore. If you hadn't known already, I was kind of in a cult against my will. 
I haven't taken any damage yet. Get that! Why is that rat so big? In my Twitch chat. How did you make that emote so large? Oh, oh, it's the bits feature. You used bits to 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 make me big and large. You, you made you made you you don't make you don't made little little rat me big little rat me man. Mm -hmm. I think I had a stroke. New bit. I just start talking like a backwater southerner. Make you what? You, you, you use bits to feed and make my rat so big and large. Mm -hmm. There should be a bat around here. Gotcha. Oh, I'm crying right now. I don't, not actual tears. I don't feel emotions. I'm part reptile. Um. My eyes are just really watering. I woke up for my nap and I just feel like grody. Yeah, I want to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. So it's just becoming Boomhauer. <laughs> yeah, that's who I'm referencing. Oh, why do why do we fight? We can make love. Wizard man. Whoa! Did you see that? He just like did that one thing that the thing a thing in the Star Wars thing. I did not expect him to backflip over me like that. Boomhow, you're not gonna talk your way out of this one. I don't know what you said, alright? I see I is getting rid of stuff. Growing up in Florida, I would call it swamp talk. I call it I call it redneck speech. Because I grew up a lot around a lot of it. And you would think I know how to translate. I really don't. Where are the bubbles? Silta moons everywhere. Excuse me? But yeah, like, I. What do you love, Oddity? What do you mean you love this? You love the idea of me boomhauer talking? Get them out of here. They're like a swarm of angry bees. Get those out of here. I don't. I don't like seeing my, my big face on the side of a moon. Why does the floor make schleppy noises? Ah, no, no, the on-screen. Get them out of here! <laughs> They're like bees! Make sure you make clips, by the way, if you guys would like. Damn you. Where's the other little manta ray? This one's for Steve Irwin. That's the guy who got killed by the... Stingray. Thing. So to watch your stream layout for a second, you'll see. What do you mean my stream layout? Okay, I'm, lo I'm looking at my stream layout. No one on VOD will be, no one on VOD will be able to see this. But what is this? I'm looking at my stream layout. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, it's so good. Utmost Oddity has redeemed Silta Tag Moon on screen celebration. Yeah, it's like a colony of bugs, but they're my face on a moon. A low poly moon. What the fuck? I haven't been awake more than an hour, and it already feels like a fever dream. I love this this like soundtrack by the way. I wonder if it plays differently. Like if I go into the adult trial, I wonder if it'll sound different. Also, I like how they made Yeah, it is a scorpion, Ractor. I think that was who earlier someone said it looked like a scorpion. It does look like a scorpion. Gosh. I wish it gave me a little pop-up notification that you used bits. I didn't- I don't see it in, um, OBS. Oh my god. Dude, why- Stop spamming them! They're like bees! I don't like it. I don't like it. 
Could you imagine you're in the woods at night and you hear buzzing and you, you think it's mosquitoes, you turn on your lights, and it's just a bunch of little little Majora Mask moons with my face on them? Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I mean, I don't actually care. Wait, I don't care if you spam it or not. They're all going, blah. Yeah, like, blah, 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 overlapping each other. Like, blah, 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 blah. I want you die. What? Yeah. You're dead. Oh my god. The watch out killed me. I, I didn't even I didn't even hear. I am listen, my brain has been touch and go. I think I tuned out most of that. Dead children! Is this a FNAF reference? We love Navi. I actually do like Navi. I don't have a problem with her. I hate Fee more than her. Stall child. Don't be afraid of the stall child. Just attack it repeatedly. Thanks for the babysitting advice, Navi. Wait a minute. Okay, I gotta be on the lookout from here on out to find the secret friend. Deal with the Octorok. Octorocks? What's the thing that, uh, the 80s cartoon link says about Octorocks? He's a fucking hate those fuckers, and he like... Navi's the best babysitter? She's not bad as a character. I'm gonna smack this tree. It's for the coin. Okay, the mountain, so maybe it's here. Ah. Yep. There we go. I'm making audible noises. I'm just... These are just generic silted noises. They may sound like winks, but... You gotta understand, at the ripe age of six, my parents got a divorce. I kind of based my whole personality on this one character. The coping mechanism. Uh, did I say that out loud? Uh... Yeah, forget that. Hey, look, there's a man hiding in the walls. Hello. This is Jake. This is Jake hiding in my walls. <laughs> Whoa, shocking to see someone here. Wait a second. Do you remember me? We met in the desert. What's your name again? Uh, it's Sutter, right? Honestly, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here myself. It's pretty comfortable, all things considered. For a while, I was living in the haunted wasteland. The last thing I can remember from then was someone attacking me. Next thing I knew, I was here in the stronghold. And after wandering around for a while, I decided, <clears throat> I decided to close up shop and stay in here. But hey, now that you're back, I can start my business back up again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if you heard me. Why don't you find me in the armor shop and I will sell you something? Seeing as I don't need it anymore, why don't you take my carpet? Maybe you'll get more use out of it. What? Wait, what? It's a pretty chick. You don't need it, but someone with a passion for interior design might- Oh my god, the- the- the, uh, woman who became a homeowner for less than, like, a week before Ganondorf kicked her out. She'll like that. Good to see you around again. Wait, what's your name? Navi, read me this man's... pin number. Nassim, it's the same person we met back in the Haunted Wasteland. Navi, what's this man's social security number? Ah, oh, shit. Up, up, yeah! No! No! Getting my ass handed by ghost. 
Dark. Are you the adult Link right now? Yeah. Um, this mod takes place right before you 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 go to confront Ganondorf, like in the final level of Ocarina of Time. The plot is you get whisked away after completing every dungeon and everything. Um, I love the Deku scrubs; they're cute. Anyways, I'm gonna deflower them, pull them up by their little weed hair, um, mow them down. What was that saying? Yeah, you're playing a Dolink right now. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. He shares a name with a character in D&D &D campaign I'm in, who I hate. Oh. Could be using this more. The, the lens of truth, or as it's called in here, the unveiling lid. I just think Deku scrubs are cute. They probably are, like, one of my favorite... Zelda races. Whoa, furry bait. Take it from the back. That's his weakness. Who who would have thought that the weakness of the werewolf man in, in Ocarina of Time is to hit the bat? Back shots. The eye. <laughs> uh, fucking, uh... Figura, what are you thinking, huh? Why were you making the werewolf's backside the weakness? Literally said, uh, back shots are the way to defeat. Kill two brothers. Ah, oh, shit. The, the damn revamped Reduds. Oh, shit. Yeah, for some reason, they're like... Ew. This looks like the weird Mexican alien that they found that was a hoax. Remember the little concrete baby alien? Ah, oh, shit. No! 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 Navi. Redead. Its gaze will paralyze you. If it bites you, tap any button to escape. No! No! Up. Take out the sniper. Damn, I'm like, not to brag, but I actually am doing a lot better than I thought I would. Fuck. It's uh, it always bothered me that the redead takes so much longer to disappear. Yeah, um, weird fact, when you kill one redead and leave it be, and if there's others in the area, they'll, like, crawl over to it. I, I don't know if it's implied if they're eating it. Yeah. No shit. I don't know if it's implied that they're eating the, um, other redead, or if they're, like, mourning it or what. on health. I'm making a personal pizza. Can you show it to me in the group chat? Can we raid it on stream? No? Howard. Mr. New Jersey man over here doesn't want us looking at his little pizza slice. Oh, it's a cheap frozen pizza? Oh. I thought you meant like... Not what I thought. This is, again, like, the most impressive ROM hack mod I've ever played. I haven't played a lot of them, but it's so well-crafted. I would not expect this. I'm gonna get pizza from scratch one day if you want. It's on my bucket list. Unironically, it's been on my bucket list for years to make a pizza from scratch. Like a proper pizza. I don't know if that includes oven, like the brick oven shit or not, but... It's not hard. I know. I, I know it's not like a difficult task, but for some reason it's just been something on my mind since I was like, I guess in middle school or high school, it's just like, I want to make a, a, a brick baked, bricked up pizza. You could use a regular oven. Yeah, but I feel like it's not the same. 
I mean, I will. I mean, I'll ride it off. It's a cheap way to go about it. I do homemade Chicago style pizza at least once a year. Dough and all from scratch. It's a snack. Is someone new? I think I just saw someone new. God damn it. I don't want to, like, do the catfish man voice. I don't want to do the Louisiana back man voice. It's going to hurt my throat. Chicago style is not it, in my opinion, but I respect the effort still. Chicago style is nice, but that's just a- it's, it's literally just a lasagna, to me. It's good, but I don't- I don't- Deep style pizzas just come across as lasagna, okay? Pizza made from scratch is always better than getting any- any pizza. Alright, I gotta do my- I gotta do my voice, hold on. Are you guys ready for some superb voice, uh, acting? You guys ready for some- I've been smoking a pack every week, uh, just to get, like, this voice. <sighs> you guys ready? Chai. Oh man, it's not the easiest pizza to make, but it's still very good. It's good. Extra, extra. I saw him a long time ago, but we had- but he had disappeared. I thought he had left. Turns out the guy was hiding within one of the trials. The merchant, Nazim. He was heading off to the Misty Bomb Bazaar to be set up to set up a new shop. I hear it'll be the best place to get bomb juice. Okay. Dude, this this guy. Can I get up here? I wanna like look at you. I wanna get a good fucking look at you. Jesus. Can someone take a screenshot of this for me? Take a good screenshot of this man. This reminds me of when I stretch my webcam. Be like, wide silta. That's just like, he's just a catfish. Is that you got the Bible? You got your whipping stick? Navi, read this man's social security number to me. That's a brick. <laughs> yeah, he just like, he just chucks a brick. Torito. Toroto, a friendly journalist. He keeps track of all the people who come here. Check in often. Oh yeah, this guy. I've been around here for right in time that I've never had a chance to check out what lesbian dates at the middle hall. You think I would have thought every nook and cranny about it? This place is better than it seems. But I'm curious to see what else is the way in here. Uh, let's say go to the armory. Hello. I don't want to buy the new shield, but I should save my money. I do need to get iron boots, though. Um, to enter the adult trial. Well, let's check out the armory. Hey, I got your boyfriend. Uh, I wish I could use magic, but as far as I'm aware, only special individuals are gifted with that ability. By Hylia herself. During my days off, I used to search for a great fairy, hoping even just for some kind of blessing, but I never managed to find one. You can use magic? Your trials must be so easy when you're able to utilize spells and abilities. I wish I had that kind of magic. Ah, you found him. And he's selling bomb shoes now? Maybe you should go on over and buy some. It will be good for his business. Hey, I'm just trying to help my friend out with some free advertisement. Don't judge. Yeah. I get the grind, man. If only some friends of mine would, you know, maybe perchance uh, advertise for my, uh, anyways. There's a Pikachu on that wall. That was a, that was that was that was a joke, by the way. My friends don't have to advertise for me because they kind of like pay for my bills. 
Joking I slash not joking. Never tweeting your stuff again. No! Come on, don't, don't be like that. I don't really want to buy bomb shoes, but I will buy the boots. I'm like too short from buying the damn shield. That's fucking criminal, dude. Oh, oh you, I have a, a carpet for you. Here, I have a floor, I have rug. You want rug? I give you rug. Look, it's a rug. What's this? You're really giving this to me? I can't thank you enough. While this may not be my home in Hyrule, this will surely help make this place a bit more like it. I haven't used it in a while, so why don't you take this loot off my hands as things? It looks like it's yearning to be played. You don't know how to- you don't know how, but maybe there's someone who does. Wait, do we know anyone who can play music? We know where we can find an exotic dancer, but I don't really want to talk to him again like the last time. He nearly drowned me in a pool. So, let's go up here. I think I saw someone earlier up here. Beef song to be by Kjrul dot DKDBW Ijskl, Urge Fila WS dot Fuip, Zedskxpvima Boof Gogopagpon Fem dot Sol Lepios and Gu Bay. Half of those I could make out. The first opening sounded like like a beats by a Dre, and the end of that sounded like a fucking Harry Potter spell. Hey, I know you're really depressed because you lost your husband all, but do you play the loot? She does not, but she's giving me fuck me eyes. That was a waste of my 2k. I want a refund. All cells are final. So it begins the classic Legend of Zelda trade quest. Congratulations on completing the child trial, and you can get it done. I'm going postal. <laughs> No, don't do it. In Minecraft? Aw. Really expecting you to put something fun and explosive in my mailbox, Jake. Something really combustible. Something that'll just make a huge mess in my mailbox. I can't read that. I can't read your response. I can't read that. He squeaked again? Shut up! Did someone clip? Stop! Bro, what was that sound? I, uh, a hamster. I accidentally sat on a hamster. All the squeaks. No, it's... No, no, no. Wait, fucking the hell... I don't know what you guys are talking about. If I deny it, it can't it can't simply be. You've died six times and you've defeated 327 enemies. Oh, you've needed if if you did enough enemies, here's the reward. Take this. Yep. Oh, I am on it. Don't worry. Hey, do you like? Is he chill now. Week again. Hey, you wanna watch me dance? No, 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 no. I just wanted. Hello. Uh. I. What the fuck is that URL? Animated Venomous Porpoise Try Hard. The randomized Twitch links are just offensive to my eyes. Please let me go. 
Help. I hate- ew, 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 ew. I don't- I don't- if, I don't like how he, he moves because he just is like- He doesn't move his legs. Oh shit, not again. No, 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 let me out. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, look at how he moves. He just- he just- He doesn't move his legs. He just kind of like- Shifts. Wait. Get away from him. I beg you. Alright. We're gonna try and do the arcade game. Wait, is that literally the Bizarre Keep from the CGI Zelda game? The one that everyone memes, whatever his name is? I think it is. You wanna play a game? It's only 20 rupees. Sure. Okay, are you ready for a game of Wackadocta? Hit all of them until you miss one. Try to get as many points as possible. Draw your weapon with B. Switch between arrows with R and Z. Are you ready? Good luck. Uh. Yeah, I want to play again. Uh. Okay, what- what elements do they fight ag I used a f No, fuck you. Fuck you. You're a scam artist. You're a scammer. I'll have the fucking village people string you up. Piece of shit. Didn't like that too much. No, because I shot a frozen Octorok. It was an ice Octorok with a fire arrow. I'm pretty sure the logic is- Burn a bitch. Burn a fucking ice cube. Burn a cold-hearted bitch. That Octorok was on fucking ice. Might as well put it on a sushi bar. And I used a flaming arrow, and that wasn't the right one to use. I don't want sushi now. Let's just go and do the next trial. If you're injured, move to a room where there are no monsters and use the warp to get back here. Oh, I don't have warp. Uh. No! No! That scared the hell out of me. Hate the wall. This music's good. Oh shit, you hear that? Oh. oh, this is good music. the groove of it. Ooh. What the fuck? Green bubble. Oh god, so many spiders. No! It looks like they remodeled the baubles to be like bird skulls, which is kind of cool.
Group photo, group chat for pizza pics. Oh, Drake, Drake, you're sending, you're sending, you're sending sauce to me. Sending sauce to me. Let me see. Damn, you guys are blowing up the group chat. What? Oh. That's a good looking pizza. Sorry, I got caught up in other things. I like that. That looks good. No, you guys can't see the secret saucy wet pizza pics that Jake sent me. It's between me and him. God. Chat, you need to like, learn some boundaries, please. Literally 1984. What is that? Oh, shit. Ah! I don't really want to risk getting hit by, like... Big fucking sexy Minotaur man over there. Is that a fox in your emote? I hate that. He's got like big ugly teeth. Scary. Is that like a Wojak meme? God. his little spandex open. I'm freeing him. Hello? Uh... Yeah! What is that? Floor Master. When it splits up, destroy all the pieces before they unite. Fuck! No! Dying me. I'll turn you or something else. Is you really crying? Are you- are you okay? Link, why are you so slow? Oh, I don't have arrows for this fight. I don't have arrows for this fight. I think you need arrows to beat her. Shit. Meg, one of the Poe sisters. If she splits into multiple images, you need to figure out, figure out which one the real one is. This one. I'd be fucked. It's like. Shit. I have to like aim it. I can't like target on her. Here. I actually don't know which one it is because I couldn't see. Fuck you. Get my ass kicked by her. Is 
for the 20. That's a 5. He's cheap. Hello? Uh. Stalthos, lure it close to you and watch its movement carefully. Attack it when it drops its guard. This is... Gotcha. No! Yeah. Uh, 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 Sands? Damn it. Hey, what? You're from Super Mario. What? This is literally the guy from Delfino. Or, yeah, it literally is. Piantesmo. He loves running around and breaking records. Let's show him what we're capable of. This is the guy from Mario. Super Mario Sunshine. Hey, do you do trials too? Um, you don't look so fast. Hey, why not race? You have to reach the finish line before me. Easy, right? So far, no one has won against me. I'm the fastest there is. I'll have you know, I've even got my own bottle sponsorship. That's just how good I am. But if you somehow happen to win this race only the first time, I'll give you one for free. The record for the child trial is 11 minutes. I bet you can't make it better. Give it a try. It's 10 rupees. You really disappoint me. Okay. Need to clear the catacombs too. I forgot about that. Um, I can't figure out what I want to buy. It's like I've got some money so It could. Let's buy, let's buy some arrows and bombs. I'm gonna go to the catacombs again. I could buy that shield, but like, oh, hello. Silta, my friend. Want some bomb shoes? The price is 40 rupees for 20 bomb shoes. some arrows uh... so do we have unanimously decided that out of the always sunny in Philadelphia cast you are Dennis what does that mean I don't I've never seen that show before what do you mean who's Dennis are they cool Five cast easily matches our group chat. But I don't know. I'm 
if my hook shot can reach all the way over. Doubt it. I don't, maybe I need to upgrade my hook shot because I'm pretty sure the catacombs has the wooden bridge I can get across if I had a stronger, longer. Also, again, I love this area's music. Hey, need a special key to open this door. Fuck off. Oh. Are you guys good with poems and like riddles? Because there's this like there's this uh there's this puzzle riddle. The maze's dark embrace, a sequence hides, a cryptic chase. Start with the third, then the first you greet. Twice the second, don't miss a beat. So, I need to find the third of something, and then go all the way to the first one, activate it, and then the second one. So, the order is three, two, one. You're kind of bad at that. <laughs> just leave me alone, Jake. You're just a naysayer. Numbers to hold the key, you see. Decipher this, and you'll be free. Knowledge to use to fight and tame. I conquer the maze, and it's yours. Wait. I forgot. I got the Lens of Truth now. I can see through people's bullshit. Wait, can I? Ah, oh, there's the the. Hey, this is such a gentle trap. I don't know, it's just very calm. Right a bomb, fuck this. Alright, so the riddle was 3, 2, 1, so that, that's the way. Jake's a naysayer. He is. He's a dirty little naysayer. Dirty little. He's just a dirty little uh, false believer. He doesn't believe in me. Right, Jake? was that? Are you gonna be Elden Ring? I had someone actually ask me earlier, like, if I was gonna, like, if I would be Elden Ring, and it wasn't you. And I grabbed them and I squished them. So. Turns out people, like, actually want me to play that. Well, I don't... This door always here? Oh! Oh! My god. Oh, I fucking hate that. It's like a bone mass, but it's got like little limbs sticking out the bottom, like squirming. Okay, good news though. I need to get the hover boots. So I like I can't make those jumps without the hover boots. So I gotta go back. But I know what I can do. Now. The hover boots are like 30 or 50 rupees. They won't be a lot. Okay. 
back in. Let's go. I don't know how to do the weird, like, bomb throw glitch that, like, speedrunners utilize all the time. I'm gonna go by the hover boots and go back in there. Because I really want to clear the catacombs because it looks like the most custom made asset area of the game. If that makes any sense. It looks like the most care to put custom assets was in that dungeon, and I want to explore it. Hi. Welcome. Can I get uh hover boots, please? Thank you. You got the hover boots. Anything else I want to buy? I buy the pinwheel. It looks really fun. Thanks. You bought a pinwheel. You'll be as light as, a mo as the wind, making you move fast. Okay. Here. Uh, let's see. I think. Okay, that's so cool. This mod or this ROM hack allows you to swap quick swap your items instead of having to go to the main menu and changing out everything wait i don't remember buying that i don't remember buying those iron boots but um kind of glad it lets you oh my god The fucking hover boost just like gives you a little gust of wind, and your ear your walk speed animation picks up. Oh my god, Jesus! So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna try and get across this chasm. Okay, we're gonna try that again. I I I hate this. God. Ah, uh, no, no, ah, uh, <laughs> uh. Jeez. Uh, it's like walking on butter. Oh, we did it, chap. We did it. There's really no enemies here. Uh, I don't. Oh, now I can go around here. See the devil? What is that? Ah. Uh, It's like a lost wood situation where I gotta follow the sound of the music. Oh, the, there's the code. I remember now. So, what was it? 321. So, 3, 2, 
one. That was the, the riddle, right? I got it wrong. Three star. I wish I remember what the riddle was. I think it was like... First time you go in, third is what you seek. I think it was three, two, one. I think it was like the, the first time you go through. Three, one, two, let's try that. So was, yeah, yeah, because it was three and then the first and then the second. Or three one two two. Oh oh yeah yeah okay okay. Oh you got it. Sounds as though a gate is open somewhere. Uh, I'd like to go home now. He has opened. I have to like. Wah. No! Don't leave me! Here be all righty. Oh, oh, I remember because there's a gate in the opening. Remember in the first area. We're making progress. Kind of wish that there were more dungeons like this, just like modded dungeons. That my eyes a bit before hubby gets home have fun playing mario or whatever all right goodbye jake take care sleep well I'll give you a little good night kiss and when you wake up um you know do whatever probably not you got the sealed key now you can get inside the chamber where the boss lurks deflected Here, here, Jake. Just for you, Jake. Here. Listen, Jake. Look. It's a little moment just between you and me. Look, look. look. See? Give a little kiss on the cheek. When you wake up, I'll give you an adult kiss. <laughs> Stan's brain. <laughs> Wait, am I fighting a boss? I think I just walked into a boss room. Forgotten tomb. Oh shit. Okay, are we gonna see our first custom boss? Oh shit. Hello? What? A fucking Doom? Dr. Doom? He built like me? What the fuck? Grimstalker. 
It's relentless. Keep out of range of that scythe. Watch out for when it disappears. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Dude, he is the devil. He hits hard as fuck. Okay, this is like. Why can't I move? Ew, he's like reaching for me. I hate that. Ah! Just no way. Yeah, he's got he's got such range. Okay, this is that's that's crazy. Oh, the Dark Souls. Okay. Uh, you think I can take him? Like in a fight? That's a fucking crazy ass boss. Wait, is Vanilla here? I, ca I can't remember if Vanilla's here. Oh, I can use this to- Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I can't back- so, let's play. Okay, shield up. No! Okay, I didn't expect a combo there. Might die. But I'm learning. This is like Dark Souls. I gotta like learn this bullshit attack pattern. Gonna attack after? No. Okay, I touched him. I got too close. Yeah, if I touch him directly, I I take damage. Let's break her back. Ah, uh, f. Yeah, I'm kind of learning how to fight him though. Another thing I've realized is I can kind of do, like, when I'm locked on towards him, um, I can do, like, a burst dodge if I use the pinwheel, which is kind of cool. I didn't think about that before. Like, I'm able to utilize the dodge of the pinwheel, or, like, the movement of the pinwheel for a, a, a greater distance dodge, which is honestly cool as fuck. Come on. Can I move? Uh oh. Every time he does that, I can't move. Come on. Shit. Oh, that's pretty good to parry overall. Yeah. I can't backflip. I gotta remember, I can't backflip like that. gonna get behind me. No! Dude! He psyched me out! He actually got me with that one.
He does like a death stare and it stuns me for a minute. I'm making progress. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get some more health or something, but I'm kind of broke. Hi. Oh, each time I die, the shit changes. Extra, extra. Loretta has been spotted by his books in Adele's potion shop. He is widely knowledgeable on so many things, and he's such a beautiful storyteller. If only the man could stay awake long enough to hold a conversation, I'd love to get an interview. Let's go check out Loretta. Been there yet? Maybe he tells me lore? I don't know. Hey. Loretta, he fell asleep. Do you know a good way to wake him up? Do you know um, that a good way to use to stop a red bubble is to use your frame wearing against it? Do you know you can use your shield to reflect knock rocks? rocks? You know that a fire can just can kill a freezer? You know that attacking a wolf host from behind with your sword can kill it? You know that feeding a beer or bari with a boomerang or a spin attack is safer than attacking head on? You know um, that if you hit the ground with a hammer and extra deck of scrub, it'll be forced to come out of hiding? Mm, do you know that you can kill a poe by hitting it twice with your sword before it has a time to disappear? So he just tells me lore, I guess. Or like little little Easter egg, like little know-hows to the game. Which is fine. I'm gonna try and fight him again. I hope I'm not wasting my time and that there is a proper way to fight this guy. Oh shit. What do you have to say about this guy again? It's relentless. Keep out of range of that scythe. Watch out for when it disappears. Okay, you don't have a lot to say. That's a given. I hate that, like, if I get too close, I take damage, like, if I directly touch him. See what I mean? Like, if I just bump into him, I take damage. Oh! Oh! Is it death touch? Kind of. Okay. Yeah, what is that noise? Oh my god. So nobody seems to know much about these guys. They seem so sad. Pieces of souls, please. Mm -hmm. 
Should I be for real? Pieces of souls, please. At least you have a quest or something. Pieces of souls, please. 50. Carry most rupees. What? Pieces of souls, please. 25. Carry more rupees. These guys saying they'll upgrade my wallet? Is that what they're saying? Okay. Navi's losing her shit right now. Like, trying to catch up to him. Um... I, I guess they want souls? I'm trying to think of a way I can get souls. Before, you could just bottle them up. I don't have a bottle, though. Now he's tweaking the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, now he's going nuts! I'm enjoying this. I'm, I'm enjoying this ROM hack a lot. I, um... I know this isn't the most, like, active stream. But this is, I, like, streaming this game is one of those games I can stream and I'm gonna have, like, fond memories, like, a year from now or longer. Like, I'll look back on this stream and remember, like, playing this ROM hack and being really enthralled by it. Just kinda wish there was more people here to share the experience with. Like, I still have old, old streams where I play, like, Destiny. And, um... Like, a year or two ago. And there were just late night streams where I had like good memories playing it and having a lot of people around. Thank you for defeating the Grimstalker. I'm sure it wasn't an easy task, and I'm glad I put my trust in you. The way he kept those souls, they felt much like hostages, no? I, I wonder what drives them to con congregate down in, the in those depths. They've never seemed quite happy, more lost and sad. What's this? They've asked you to collect... Pieces of soul. I have heard they can be collected in the Abyssal Arena. Maybe you can collect five of them and return to me. It'd be great for my research. I will be marking my logs in my book. Feel free to read it if you want. I don't mind at all. Read his book. Okay, well, Doc, you need to fill out the book if you want me to read it. The Abyssal Arena. I don't think I went there yet. I don't know if I need a bottle. I hope I don't need a bottle for them. I just might. Beyond here is the Abyssal Arena, a place where monsters come at you in droves. Personally, I recommend you have some bombs and arrows in if you're either liable to get otherwise. See, so you vanquish the Grimstalker. You've truly shown yourself as a competent warrior. You may attempt this challenge. Thanks. I guess this is where I can get, um... What do you call it? The souls. Wave one. Is that fucking Ganon? That's just literally Ganondorf up there. Like, literally the Ganondorf. Ooh, 
Ooh, what a satisfying noise. We got a piece of soul. Looks like someone lost it. Cave three. What? Ah, uh, bat, I... Way four. That was... Huh. Every five waves I get to leave? No? Power kind of went out for one microsecond. Oh shit. Maybe it's every 10 waves I'm able to leave. Shrub not move. All right, I'm out. See you, Ganon. Pumpkin windy. Yeah, it was like the wind was crazy here earlier today. Um, it hasn't rained in several weeks, but. Uh, it was very strong winds, like enough to kind of like push you a little. Hello, that's a new person. Extra, extra. Looks like someone named Gale has arrived. He was wearing a white shirt. You should be able to find him somewhere in the main hall. Says he came from Castle Town, according to him. The view of the castle at sunrise was truly a sight to behold. How quaint. Hey, do you play instruments by chance? I heard that if you cut, if you used a magic attack on a creature locked behind bars, a gate to the sewers will open. I don't know what this voice is. It's just a voice I went with. I can't say for sure, though. I mean, who would even keep something like that? I think he's talking about the PNG pet that the scientist has, the professor. Maybe. I'll try. I'll try, like, hitting it with my spin attack. I doubt that would fix it, but that'd be a weird... Thing. We'll try it, we'll try it. Because I gotta give him the five souls anyways. Oh, wonderful. You've got the pieces of soul. With this, I'll be able to further my studies. I see. It seems as though these pieces of souls are used as some sort of... I can't be for sure. I require more research. From what I can glean, however is that the souls are offering you some sort of reward for assisting them. Curious. This is as far as I can get. I'll mark down my findings over in my research notes. Come back when you have 15. Did he take them or do I still have them? I still have the ones I got. Zachary's research notes. Do you want to read it? 
Still to defeat the Grimstalker, absolutely incredible. Why would he hold souls as hostages? They all seem to appear within the catacombs. Is there something drawing them there? They also asked Silto to collect some pieces of soul. I've heard they can be found within the Abyssal Arena. I hope he can do it. I asked him if he to collect five of them. His findings will be vital for analysis. Trumpet? I know. The trumpets in this track go really like, loud. Silto brought some pieces of soul. With these, I should be able to progress my understandings. It should be more noted it should be noted that once enough pieces of souls are handed over, the souls disappear. Leaving a reward. What the reward is doesn't matter. Where do they go? I can't place it. Maybe they venture off into the lost woods. But would that make any sense? I can't see why. Welcome back, Ractor. It's a very dangerous place. There's a chance to get lost forever, but I wonder if these souls could traverse it. I need to know. I asked Silta to bring me 15 pieces of soul so I can do more research. We're gonna go down here. I'm gonna see if like hitting this with my spin attack actually does anything. Got hit with magic. Wow, that actually did something. It's kinda wild. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. All right, uh, welcome back. Ouch. So, probably need iron boots, which I think I already have, but I might need, like, a suit to breathe underwater. It is said that if you leave the stronghold, you never come back. Maybe it's just something to scare us. But maybe Shiba has been here too long and is going insane on it. I need to lurk for a bit. Alright, all good. How much does that suit cost to go in the Forty. Buy it. Got the hydrothermal tunic. The heat resistant tunic helps to withstand the heat. Going to a hot place? No worry. The tunic is also imbued with magic, allowing you to breathe underwater. For some reason, I have diving boots. I don't recall buying them. I just have them. I don't know why. I only bought hover boots. It's just reused. I feel like they sped up his movement speed underwater. I might be wrong though. Horrifying. At least it makes movement bearable. Yeah, I don't know how much you've played of like Ocarina of Time, the original, or if you're like accustomed to ROM hacks or whatever. Um. Because I think you came from... What was the first stream you came from? Was it my Gloomwood, or was it... But, yeah, like, the movement speed is typically kind of... Bad as hell. It was Gloomwood. I think it was Gloomwood. I think you were there during the Goat Man. Event in the tavern. Yeah. 
think faces are free. This would scare a little little eight-year-old me. I don't think I was there for that. I didn't get to stay long that day. Oh. That's kind of like the last big thing I remember happening in Gleamwood that a lot of people were around for was the goat man segment in the tavern. It's where like an influx of new viewers came in. I have the whole VOD. Oh. I have that whole VOD on video, and I was gonna make a video on it, like actually edit it, and I still might. I, I'm really bad at editing. I like, I used to do editing a lot years ago for commentator YouTubers because I used to be in that quote unquote field. Yuck. And um, I just, I just don't like editing. I, I want to enjoy it. I want to be able to make funny edits that people would enjoy, but I feel like I don't ever have good ideas to print in editing. But long story short, though, um, I have the whole VOD downloaded, and I just need to figure out what to do with it. I started editing, but I haven't gotten really far in it. I showed what I had to a friend, and they were kind of like unimpressed, and I was like, I'll shoot to my, my drive to keep trying to get it. I know which way I'm going. Ugh, oh, the fucking camera shaking when you get to the top of this is awesome. But yeah, you're you're like a new viewer here. So like, what what what's uh? What games do you play, or actor? Tell me about yourself. I'm kind of surprised you've been returning to my stream so often as you have. It, it means a lot. So I mean, I appreciate it. We're always getting to know you a little. checking some of my socials real quick sorry i didn't catch your question i was just asking like what do you do like what, what games do you play normally because you're new here and um i'm kind of surprised you've you've made like three consecutive returns to the streams and i don't know i appreciate it Stop my socials at the moment. Play a lot of Elite Dangerous and Stellaris. Oh, my friend and I, Alex, we used to play Stellaris all the time. I was awful at it, don't get me wrong. Um, and I played a little bit of Elite Dangerous. I love music, it goes hard. I'm gonna tweet out that I'm still streaming on my Twitter. Which, by the way, if you want to follow me on Twitter, feel free to.
Who I haven't been playing Elite as much lately since I'm deciding on what I want to do there. I um I got into Elite Dangerous a little bit. It was fun. Um I like that the game gives you a lot of opportunities as kind of kind of like what job you want to do, like trader wise or mercenary. It had a lot of variables in the position in the galaxy that you'd want to take. And I, I have a lot of respect for that. I think I think immersive sims like that are fun. Did you play, what was it, Odyssey that came out? The DLC expansion pack? It was like, um... I think it lets you, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like, walk around and stuff. I was really excited for it, and then when I saw gameplay, I was kind of... Unsure, and then other people in reviews said that it was a very wonky... Uh, let me tap back in here. Game. Uh, yeah, it did feel a little forced in, but they're slowly adding stuff to it. In the far future, if they do more with it, I will probably, like, play it. Uh, I was really looking forward to it. Me and my dad and a couple of other people were gonna, like, play it. Um, I just... I'm trying to figure out where to go. I have no clue where that gate was. It just opened up. Maybe this way? Huh? Don't tell me that they closed back. Ah, oh, shit, it does? Okay. Oh, it is being forced. Where the hell is it going? Because I can't... Okay, it's here. Okay. I see. Alright, we can work with that. At least I know where it's at now. So if I just like... Make my way all the way over here. Hit it with my hook shot. Should be set. I don't know if I move faster underwater or not. With uh, like backward movements. I think rolling is the way to go. Hey! Hey! 
Gotcha. Alrighty, I'm kind of back, but I'll be mostly laying back because I'm EP. Okay. Even with Odyssey, I do mostly ship-based things, but I do like going around the tier of my fleet carrier. I think that I would love to play a nice immersive space type sim game like that. Uh, however, I don't know of a lot of good ones that kind of have the feels that I'm looking for. I have no clue where the fuck is. Is there a map to this? There's no map. Did they just take this and they were like, we're gonna make our own water temple? Why? Why would you do that? I've already been here. Okay, the, the fucking camera glitching, spiraling is gonna, like... Yuli is the only good one I know of. I tried Star Citizen, but it felt more like I was being flipped off by the developers. Oh, dude, I tried Star Citizen. I fucking hate it with a passion, and there are still clowns out there who defend that game. Like, oh, it'll get better. They're working on it. The game's been in, like, a weird state for literal years. And, and they, it's just an unplayable mess of a game. And I know people, IRL even, that stream and play that game um, and defend it. Like, if you enjoy it, that's fine, whatever. But to sit there and say that it's you can't be judged because it's still a work in progress when all they do is keep making ships and selling them. Hi, Rexami, hello. Nice of you to join us. Playing, uh, I don't know if you were, if you made it to last night's stream. I can't remember, but we're playing a uh, Zelda mod. That's the main entrance. I'm at the. What? No, I for gore. I thought so. It's okay. It's a very, very expansive like mod. I'm in love with it. But yeah, we streamed it for like a couple of hours yesterday. But I know there are some pretty big recent developments in Elite. I have more hope for Elite than I do Star Citizen. Star Citizen is like just one of those fucking scammer bro type games that people still fall for. And I don't know if I should feel annoyed or just laugh at people who try and defend it. I'm a hater, and proudly I am. Wait, didn't I do this before? Yeah, I did do this before. What? Lily's finally getting some new ships and a new VS FSD drive. What's that? What's an FSD drive? Am I supposed to, like, hit that? So where am I going from here? Let me trace my steps. Maybe it's this way. The FSD drive is how you get around? Oh, like the... Okay, so you mean, like, moving around. Oh, this is where. I love the, the, the dungeon. It's so good. You talking about Elite Dangerous? Yeah, we were talking about Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen. Because I want to, like... The fuck? Hold on. I'm so sorry to, like, to get detoured, but... Is this a boss room? 
Oh, I don't like that. Okay, this is a boss. It's gotta be. In fact, it reminds me of the one boss from uh, Twilight Princess. The water one. Heard good things about Elite? Yeah, Elite's pretty great. It really is. Um, they released a first-person kind of individual player, like, human mode or whatever, Odyssey, where you can get out of your ship and move around and stuff. It was kind of flaky from what I saw. What the fuck? Hello? Poor Navi sounds like she's drowning. Bear out. I heard that he drank fish milk and this is what happened. Hi. Okay. First is the four new ships and Elite is already out. Though you have to buy it with the premium currency until fall. Oh shit! First of the four new- uh, Okay, I got ice arrows now. Like, dude, do you want to, like, talk about it? Oh, no, this is the boss arena from... God, what is it? Majora's Mask, I think. I should kill myself. I don't have to teleport up. Uh, you'll teleport me up if I do. I actually think Star Citizen is kind of cool. Okay. Ah. Uh, bites tongue and cheek. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Even even meth is good if you if you stick to it long enough. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have anything good to say about it. No, it's it falls under the category of tech bro scammers to me. That's just how I feel about it. It's just one of those things where maybe at one point it had good intentions, but somewhere along the way, it just is not getting any better. All they do is pump out ships that they charge like literal thousands of, of actual dollars, like real world money to play around in and it's just a busted game if it were if it were more playable and like uh if it were more playable and stable and stuff like that and you could like have fun with it then yeah i'd be all on board i love the concept of star citizen but the execution of the game itself is so poorly strung together i mean yeah i suppose it is kind of scheme how expensive stuff is yeah, it's like, I think they have made millions or something off of that game, and like, none of that money is going into the improvements of it. I, I, I don't get it. I don't know where that money is going. Everyone is so excited for that game. I think, hot take, but I think New, uh, No Man's Sky has had a much better redemption arc, and I just, I would rather play No Man's Sky than, than Star Citizen. I like how immersive simulated they try to be with Star Citizen, but it just falls apart so easily. It's like they tried to follow an ingredient recipe, but they kept substituting different things over and over again to the point where like half the ingredients are just replaced with things that don't work together. The thing that really turned me off it is that Star Citizen. Despite being a space-based game, doesn't have any proper support for HOTAS controllers. I'm, um... I'm not, uh... Very knowledgeable in, like, aircraft, space pilot, sim-type games and the controllers that come with them. I know that in itself is a very niche kind of community. The most I've done is I've played Star Citizen, or I've played, um, No Man's Sky in VR. And I tried flying around in that. It was fun for the first five minutes, and then I got sick.
Uh, do we want to try and do like the chime try? Otis controllers is a flight stick with a throttle stick. Hmm. Yeah, it's like in Star Citizen, you have to buy ships and they can be up to like hundreds of dollars. That's kind of stupid in my opinion, lol. I mean, like, yeah, it is. It's dumb. Like... I can maybe excuse... Maybe. Excuse... Some pay for shit. Like... But not up in the hundreds or thousands. Like, $20 for a ship that's, like, designed specifically for medical purposes. That's a thing that my friend was really excited about when we first got into Star Citizen. And we quickly realized how much of a scam it is. Is that we were gonna be, like, fuel rats, which is a spacer turn. Um, where we would basically accept SOS calls, go out, fuel up on, like, people's ships that ran out of fuel. Um, and get paid for it. And we would also provide medical services. Yeah, and then we found out that, like, most generic medical ships that you could, quote, earn in-game took, like, literally... We did the math. It took it would take us hundreds of hours to save up enough in-game cash to get uh, one of those ships. And it wasn't even a big ship. Fuel Rats isn't a term. It's an organization. Ah, well. Excuse my mannerisms. I just know that we had a goal in mind, and it was just unachievable. The most I've played is, 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 um... I don't know, I remember I tried doing a lot of missions, and they would always flop. The NPCs, like the bandit missions, where you had to, like, shoot and get out your ship and actually shoot and board space stations and clear out terrorists, was always a disaster, because they had, like, wall hacks. They wouldn't even look at you, and they would just know where you are through the walls, and they would just shoot you. That's the level of bullshittery that that mod, or that game had going for it. Uh, I'm not sure how active they are in Star System, but I am one in Elite. Maybe I'm getting it confused with Elite. Maybe that's what I was trying to do in Elite, or that was my goal. I remember I went mining on, in uh, Elite a friend who, who played the game a lot, they did uh, mining operations, and they let me join them for one. It was fun. It was oddly therapeutic. Like, I can see the appeal of playing Elite Dangerous as someone who's not combat heavy. I think I'm gonna go for the adult trial. Or no, uh, maybe I should go for the Abyssal Trial? Let's go for the, uh... Let's go for the Adult Trial. I need money. I don't think I get money from the Abysmal Trial. Or no, I do. I think. Let's just fucking, I don't know, I'm indecisive. I could also try the boss one. Boss Gauntlet. I'm very bad at it, because the, like, hitbox kind of sucks for the Goma fight. The funny thing is that with Elite, if you know how to build an engineer, you can also make a ship that makes money by sitting around unattended. Just turning your computer into a, a giant ass, like, hmm, <laughs> Bitcoin mining facility. Hello. Alright, I'm like, focusing really hard right now. Also, I love- I've said it before and I'll say it again. I really love how this game, or this mod, has its own set of music that uses the same sound font. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn, you are one tough motherfucker. Maybe I should just leave it at mother since you just seem to be pouring out babies. But damn, you were actually really hard to fight. I'm down to two arrows. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat her. I don't know if my grapple hook can stun her in the eye. Oh my god, does. Okay. We're so- we're so, What the fuck? Jesus, these hitboxes. Oh my god, she's dead. Uh, it earns the only money you can use to buy ships, but it's funny that it's possible to exploit the pirate AI like that. Ugh. I'm gonna pull your little legs apart. Watch you buzz around like the- Spider, you are. Hey, what's my reward? Please? I need to kill at least two of the bosses, I think, to get a reward. I don't know who I'm fighting next. I don't know if they're gonna make me fight the bosses in order that you do an Ocarina of Time. Okay, it seems so. Uh, Link? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Wow. Are these enemies re- th These bosses look retextured to me. I think they are. They are. Neo Quinto Dongo, Infernal Dinosaur. What the fuck? Dude, what the f Yeah, that bullsh I was DJing yesterday in VR? Yeah, I remember you were telling me. Oh. It's just... Wow, they weren't kidding when they said that this was gonna be hard. This is like bullshit levels of difficult. Like, does it even open its weakness up? Like, I'm, I'm supposed to be chucking bombs in its mouth. But uh, instead, it just doesn't want to do that. God damn it. I'm gonna die. Like, straight up. I... I don't even know what got me there. Thinking about it, I have an idea of what I would want to do in the next Elite now. In To do next in Elite now, I might set up my carrier to sell high valuable minerals. Huh. Could be fun. Profitable. Alrighty, I'll need to go now. Okay, good night. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye.
Just need to get my mining cutter ready again. For me, I love disaster sim games. Have you, like, do you know what Space Station 13 is? I was never good at it, but I love either watching people play it or trying to play myself. And I just love, like, the concept of anything could happen in Space Station 13. You could go from, like, zero to hero, like, janitor to soul survivor type shit. Uh, I love the little cat video, by the way. Oh, yeah, the Gemma and Missy love the little cat thing that you got them off of Throne. Thank you so much again, Yeen, for that. I appreciate that. They do, too. It's pretty good, yeah. I was live on Twitch, and I think I got, like, 20 viewers at one point from the VR chat map. So cute, glad they're having fun with that. I love that game, but the good servers keep dying. They usually do, and I don't know why. I have Space Station 14 on Steam, because I have early access to it. But I don't really play it. Bye, take care, goodbye. I love the music in this area too, by the way. I just go home. Yeah, how did you get access to it? I just requested it on Steam. Oh, I can't actually go out here? That's. Um, yeah, if you go on Steam and type in Space Station 13, you literally just, cl like, click Request Access. I think I just got lost. Huh? Surely. Maybe just like randomly puts you here at any given point. Forgot about the Lost Woods. Yeah, I think it always just puts you back to the entrance of this area. Oh, is that like a hole in the tower? Was that there before? Yeah, if you go on Steam, you should be able to request access. The only problem I have with it, Ractor, uh, is there's not enough of a player base around it to, like, get into a good server and play it. They hold test runs, like, play sessions, like, once or twice a week. But there's not enough people actively playing it to the point where you can, like, have a round, a good round in it. Think about it, I remember a couple of heroic moments I had in Space Station 13. I think the only thing I really remember, um, or the first thing that I remember when I think about Space Station 13 stories from my experience, is I used to play a lot of Botanist, and someone taught me how to make explosive tomatoes, and, uh, I would make explosive tomatoes and then send them to the kitchen, and then when the chefs would, like, cut into the tomatoes, they just explode and die. And there really wouldn't be much evidence to piece together that they died from a fucking tomato. And they'd have a shipment- they would have shipments of tomatoes, by the way. I would send them in batches. So it wasn't just like one little- little explosion. If I was lucky, I would like be able to, um... Have a chain reaction. God rest those souls. Come on. Up. Ah, oh, fuck you. I hate those guys. Gotcha. 
gotcha. I remember in the Colonial Marine server, while infected and bleeding out, I caught an artillery strike on myself and somehow caught almost the entire Xenomorph hive in it. Oh my god. Uh, I remember playing a little bit of the Colonial Marines. It wasn't my kind of thing, admittedly. But I remember I had a lot of friends who'd play it, so I'd play it from time to time. I remember the time I got turned into a monkey. Someone clone, someone cloned my body and replaced it with the mind of a monkey. So I wasn't like capable of doing a whole lot. Uh, sorry, I'm struggling to like. Monkey Silta, Monkey Silta. Space Station 13 is wild. Like, I don't know how much you know about Space Station 13, Rex, but it is a. I don't know the full story of it, but. Essentially, I think it was like a failed mod or something. I don't remember. And, uh. It was like a dropped project. And then some people got together, found it. And then they proceeded to, uh, mod it or something, and they turned into an extremely immersive, top-down, like, role-playing game. You could do so much shit. Very niche shit. Is it like a Source Engine mod? No, it's it's not Source Engine. It's, it's all pixels and stuff. But the level of details you could go into it are crazy. Like... Like I said earlier, you can choose botanist class job, and if you know how, you can make explosive tomatoes and just chuck them at people. You could summon demons or start a cult uprising. Um, you could play as a rogue AI and fuck with other players and lock them in doors and shit. You could literally prank people with plutonium dynamite cigars. Like, if you roll up a certain combination of ingredients and give someone a cigar, they wouldn't know what's inside of it, so when they light it, their head explodes. It's like crazy shit like that. The other one was on a normal map where, as the captain, no one believed I witnessed the traitor kill someone, so I stole multiple guns from the armory and gunned the traitor down and ran off to an escape pod. Damn, that sounds really cool. Is it multiplayer? Yeah, it, it heavily relies on, on multiplayer experiences. Um, but it's a disaster sim game, and it's like, it's a whole space station, there's several maps people make, and they're like, manned and operated by dozens and dozens of players on these servers, and they're compact, and so much things could happen. So the start of a round is like a normal shift, and at the end, it like, it just gets crazy. Yeah, get off me, you motherfucker. Damn it. Um, so I gotta like focus right here real quick. That is a very cool poke shot design. I eat that up. Be the fate? Yeah. I was working on a few 3D props on Blender today. Nice. Dead. Make a map for VR chat. Nice. I kind of gave up on any kind of like gaming mod projects I had, especially with the Source or Sandbox, because it's just like, it was a disaster. Why do you hit so fucking hard? Oh, 
Why am I not able to block? Am I not able to block this guy? I'm like gonna die here. Okay. I know. Yeah, I haven't touched sandbox in ages, which is unfortunate because I really wanted to use Source 2 to make mods and get into game design and stuff like that. I remember as a scientist, I had someone convinced I was doing something evil, but I was really making chem sprayer load with space cleaner since the janitor refused to do his job. Oh god. It's... Can you target the right fucking bat, please? Oh my. Die to, I'm gonna die to I'm gonna die to the fucking bat dude. I know it. On my left. Bait. The bait you. That lava in the middle, I kinda don't wanna find out. Yeah, also, I didn't know Space Station 14 was a thing, but I did know about Unity Station. I'm not familiar with Unity Station. Oh, uh, I might as well just fucking die. I can't do that. Dude. Dude. He like turns and I'm trying to fucking hit. Jesus. I didn't think Keese, the bats, would be the one thing that fucked me over so much. <gasps> What was I talking about? I don't remember. Space Station 13? Yeah, it's a cool game. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I love playing source mods though. Um, there is one source mod for Half-Life 2 that I've been waiting for for like literally a year and a half, a half now called Inhuman. It was supposed to get a release back in October of last year, I think, but they delayed it, which I'm not going to hold that against them. I think, you know, they should delay it if they think that's what's best. Have you played Entropy Zero? Yeah, I streamed through it twice, and I know some of the developers, because we've talked before a lot, and I have them on Discord. 
when I streamed that game twice, they like literally all watched me stream it and um, they referenced me in a couple of their dev streams after. So yeah, they're, they're cool people. Some of them are in my Discord server. I hadn't talked with them recently, but hang out for a little bit. Yeah, do it 12 times. I guess I could go in the abyss, abysmal challenge room. I can endorph. Ah. That. Oh, is that the way to start the next one? Oh, I see. I don't get those soul things. Unless I reach a new level. I wonder if the bot the fights are randomized. I don't think they are. Could be wrong though. I don't know why he wouldn't drop down. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I do get money from this. That's not that bad, actually. I know I need to complete all the trials to get to the finale of this, though. This, this, this mod is packed with so much shit. Child. But yeah, this is so much more than I thought it'd be. I thought it was a simple, you just go in, there's a gauntlet trial, that's it. But this is like storytelling, custom NPCs, enemies, dungeons. I definitely feel like they should have added like item weapon drops though. Wave 9. Wave 10. Gotcha. Okay, now we're starting to collect more of these again. I might just try and go as long as I can for this fight. Wave 12. We had sausage and burgers. It was very nice. Had a barbecue today. I actually got uh, a bunch of fresh ground meat from... Um, my, are you serious? my boss because I work for um, someone who owns a farm and I do a lot of yard work for them and they recently like killed a cow like butchered a cow that they had been uh, kind of you know, <gasps> no get off me I need that back uh, give that back please what, what was I? Where was I? Um. You do not. I don't get my ship back. Okay, that's unexpected. Wow. 
Anyways, yeah, I got fresh beef and shit. Ground beef, every, like, sirloin steak, whatever I wanted to get, because, uh, I mean, his fridge is loaded with a cow. He took to the butcher shop, and they, uh, they filled that fridge all the way to the top. So he's, like, more than happy to just let me have whatever. So I think I'm going to season the hamburger beef and try and make, like, some nice seasoned marinated hamburgers. I don't know. It sounds lovely, not gonna lie. Steak. I actually don't like steak, but they do offer it. Like, he, he has a bunch of steak. He had cowboy style T bone steak. That sounds like the Dark World theme from A Link to the Past. It might be. It might be Ractor. I noticed that they do a lot of remixing of, of stuff in this. I hate not having a shield. God. You have a meat smoker. I've heard a lot of Americans have a meat smoker, but I don't know if that's true, lol. It's true. Uh, I don't- we don't have one. We have a grill. I like- I like- prefer, I prefer grilled. I hate- I don't like smoked stuff a lot, to be honest. To me, smoking things just takes a lot of flavor out. And, uh, uh, I'm just not a fan of smoked stuff, usually. Shit. Gotcha. Bad dog. Alright. I like this though. This is kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. The grill is much faster as well. See, when I eat meat. Don't quote me. I like it juicy, don't quote me. I don't like dried out meat, it's just not, I don't like dried out meats. A meat needs to be juicy and tender when I bite into it. Dude, that like, like, like really did strip me of everything. Um, I like these things because they kind of look like my Sona's signal, sigil. Alright, uh, do I want to keep going? Okay, well, I'm going to keep going because it just closed the door on me. Fuck. Fuck. What is that bombing noise? Is someone trying to, like, do a bone strike on me? Shit. I got this. I can do this. I can do this. I should have left, but I didn't. It's okay, I got this. Still to the meat enjoyer. I actually am not a big fan of meat. Like, I'm not vegetarian. I wouldn't call myself that. I wouldn't call myself vegan. I'm picky about meat, though. Meat is a very hit or miss kind of thing for me. Like, baked foods are not good to me. I don't like baked- or no, I said- let me rephrase that. I don't like baked meats. Shit. Ah. I think this is like a like the dark theme, but changed up by the way, Raptor. I think you're right. Yeah, that was like, what's your go-to food to eat? Uh, sesame chicken. Like, I find I have two comfort foods in life. Um, uh, French toast and sesame chicken. Like, those are the two foods that will always kind of like 
make me feel content and kind of good. <laughs> like, I'm not lying. Like, those two foods will kind of set me at ease for a, a bit. What the fuck? You can't be doing this right now. I literally, I, I can't. I can't do shit without a shield against the P hat. I love French toast, yes. I freaking love French toast. Yeah, they're good. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do next. I think I'm gonna run through the child trial, but I'm gonna do the speedrun version so I can try and get a bottle. Um, I don't have a shield right now. I'm gonna try and save up for a $150 shield since it can't be stolen or lost. Hey, hey. The record for the child trial is 11. I bet you can make it better. It's 10 rupees. Sure. Oh, what the fuck? Right, let's go. Speed run, speed run, speed run. God, I love I love this track. This one particular for the for the child trial is so good. It's it's played on Ocarina. And I've been learning the Ocarina a lot right now. Also, I'm so sorry if I don't read chat as much for the next few seconds. I like realize I'm doing a speed trial now. I kinda have to like uh stay super on time top of it. Those things are cute. Should have used the hook shot for that, to be honest. Link, I need you to like. Uh, let me pause my game so I can read chat. I freaking love French toast. When I make my French toast, I put it on the frying pan and I fry the broth a bit of butter and I dip it in the sugar afterwards as well. Oh man, it's so nice. Yeah, I mean, I like my French toast crunchy. But, like, apparently that's the wrong way to make French toast. Apparently. Apparently the proper way to make French toast is to, like, make it flaky and fluffy. Which I can see the appeal of, but I kind of just prefer it... It cooked another way. I just like it fried. Flaky. Alright, uh, the only wrong way to cook is when it tastes terrible, or it makes you sick. Um, actually, the French Toast Police are doing it wrong. I mean, say that, I mean you, you joke, but uh, my friends are very selective with how I cook. Oh, fuck you, you goddamn burning bat bitch. I hate the keys. At three minutes. Okay, it's almost like a combination of of Zelda songs. I'm I'm noticing in this. Zelda's lullaby, uh, maybe Song of Times, the main menu. 
the overworld theme. It is like a culmination. So I don't know if this is an, an original track, or if it's like just ripped from something else or what. But I love this song. Yo, yo, I'm head off. 4.30 a.m. I'm gonna head to bed. Alright. Good night. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Night, Silta. Good night. Most people have went to bed, so I may or may not end stream soon anyways. Let's see. Are you fucking serious? I was gonna like do a spin attack and wipe them all out because I think you can do that with a spin attack without getting interrupted, but he landed right on top of me. Catch more of your streams for sure. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. You have a good night now. For a second, I didn't know if it died. <laughs> like halfway through. I might not be able to break it in time. I don't know. Might be the last area? I can't remember. Like, so fucked on health, though. Like, I'm kind of throwing caution to the wind with this. Box. Whoa! We did it. We did it, Joe. Fuck. Kinda wild that I prefer this combat over like Breath of the Wild, to be honest. Like, I don't know. The combat in this Zelda game feels a lot better. Well, preferred than Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Because he actually kind of like... Has more of a combo thing going? I don't know. While in Breath of the Wild, it's very much just like the same two attacks. Got like one health left. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this off. If I die, at least I have the money for. <gasps> no! Fuck you, bird. Not having a shield kind of blows. Oh shit. I've got like half a health left. I, there's no way. I still have to do like, yeah, this. That was that. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. 
I shouldn't have locked on. Because when you hit them after locking on, they immediately go invisible and attack. Fuck. At least I can get a shield now. A new shield. The extra, extra. Azura has entered the stronghold. A rare sight. Not many of us come through here. The poor man seemed to be quite lost and confused. When I asked him his name, he gave me a quizzical look and said Mickey. Although he seemed fairly unsure. It's not uncommon for folks who just arrive here to be overwhelmed. I'm certain that time will be, he'll be alright back to his old self. Believe it. He was heading towards the garden if you were interested in trying to meet him. Maybe he's already feeling a bit better. Extra, extra. A guy named Mitchell is over here at the forge right now. He's a friend of the smithy, Will. Although they are friends, he's a bit fishy. Y'all have a good night. I'm gonna head to bed. I didn't even know you were here, Jump Throw. Good night. Sleep well. Thanks for stopping by. Not like Zoa, fishy. Ha ha ha. I hear he runs some shady business on the side, but I don't have any eyewitnesses testimonies about it yet. Some kind of illegal fighting ring or so I've heard. Alright, I'm gonna go buy that shield, because I kind of want to see the new shield. Apparently it can't break and it can't like be stolen. Definitely difficult to lose and to break it. You got the Mystique Shield. The shield's polished surface can reflect energy. Oh shit! So it also reflects light? That's that's actually kind of cool. I like that. I'm a broke bitch now though. I want to go try out the garden. Like, I want to go see what's in the garden. Or the new Zora NPC and stuff. I do like this area. It's a very nice area. Hi. Uh... Mickey, apparently he's a pretty great musician. Maybe it runs in the family? I'd love to hear it. This isn't the same Zora you become, like, in Majora's Mask, is it? What a dreary place, huh? I might not look it now, but I was an up-and-coming musician back at home. It's been hard after Ganondorf attacked. I might have been able to get my big break if he hadn't. Fortunately, I don't have my loot with me. If I did, I'm sure I could bring some much needed energy around here. Do I have the news for you? You want it? Amazing! You found a loot! With this, I'll be able to get these fins moving across the frets again. Here, take this as a memento. I, I kept it. I kept a memento I kept. I'm going to give it to you as thanks. Pendant of Promise. Brings good fortune to those in love. What a beautiful gift. Take care of that for me, and feel free to stop by any time. My performance would knock your tunic off. Okay. I call this one Ode to a Promise. Sing along if you know the words. One last pluck of my strings, one more note that you sing. Together along the shore. Alright, loot solo. I do kind of like how this place is, is becoming sort of like, I don't want to say a town, but maybe a community to a degree. Like, a part of me hopes at the end of this story, people kind of choose to stay here and start a community, but maybe it's like, people can leave if they'd like. I guess I'll give this to the girl who doesn't like, who wants romance. Well, let's go into the smithy shop. Maybe it's still- oh, hello. Yay, nice to make your, make your acquaintance. You seem like a pretty tough guy. Got a nice build. Seems sturdy. Say, do you like to fight? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. I have to go to sleep now? Alright, good night, Ractor. I can tell you've got a desire for the clashing of blades. The want to slay your foes. Listen, don't tell anyone. But I know of a place where you can battle to your heart's content. Sound nice? If you're keen, 
Maybe you can persuade me into cluing you in. I'm broke. Hey, pal, I got the enthusiasm. I get the enthusiasm, but you don't have enough. Come talk to me when you're able to pay up. I'm gonna go give this to the girl. I might call it a stream. Ooh, okay. I like how he keeps giving me like a bunch of rewards each time I go through. It um in a way it kinda helps make sure you don't get stunned, like you don't get like soft locked or, or struggling financially. Wow, this is beautiful. Are you sure it's all right to give to give it to me? Thank you. This pendant, it's so similar to the one my fiance had worn. I know it's not the same, but it's enough to bring me strength. Please, would you do something for me? To start my new life, could you give this to the man I admire? Nyla's love letter. Quickly, find Argyle and help Nila pass on these feelings. His name is Argyle. He normally patrols near the garden. Thank you so much. I promised promised a treasure this gift. Okay, cool. Um I think I'm gonna call it here, cause like I don't know, I'm gonna call it here. It's been fun though. I'm gonna definitely play more of this. We got a lot of progress done. I'm glad that I'm committed to this like story. With that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful night. I'm gonna chill out, have, a, have an easy time, maybe do some art, I don't know. And, uh, yeah. We might be able to raid somebody. I don't even know how many people we've got watching right now. Or if it's worth a raid. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna call it quits for tonight. If you enjoyed the stream, uh, drop a follow. Um, I have a Discord server. You're more than welcome to join. Just read the rules. Be chill. Simple stuff as. And uh, yeah. Everyone have a good night, alright? Take care of yourselves. Catch you guys next time.